reduces dark damage by 20% slightly increases strength and ability stud. I don't want any of that crap. Never mind. No, Donald, goofy. Out of my way, dude. Isn't Donald's nephew shop like right over here and we can buy better items for Donald and Goofy? Pretty sure we can do that. Is this it? Yep, item shop. I think this is it. Yep. I'm fairly certain we can get better items for Donald and Goofy. Better better weapons. Blah. Yep. Dude, I'm gonna get stout shield. I'm gonna get morning star. I don't want to bring down Donald's MP. It's the one thing that's useful with him. And I don't really think I need anything else. I think that's it. Never mind. I'm good. So, let's equip their new weapons before I forget. Man, look at that stout shield. I like that stout shield. I don't have anything else to put on Goofy, sadly. He'll be fine for now. Going out this way. Wasn't there a red trinity around here somewhere that I should be able to do now? Like, over here, I think? No, but there's a blue trinity I, appara a trinity I apparently ignored. Why did I ignore this trinity? Oh, that's right. I got it in the recording, but then I didn't do it again when I had to restart the game and get back to where I was because the thing messed up. So let's do that again real quick. Grab this chest. Move, guys! Jeez! Get this postcard... Out. Come over here. Get this. It will not open. Oh yeah, that's right. I gotta do the. I can destroy all these chairs. I can destroy all these chairs real quick. Let's get all of these out at once. No. Fire. Oh no, that's fire. <laughs> I wanted blizzard. Deep freeze. Is that like keep it out? It didn't affect that one apparently. I heard the little noise go off. Can I open this now? Yep. A defense up. Nice. Using that on Sora. All items are gonna go to Sora. <laughs> That's just how it is. Good. My defense is up. That's always helpful. All right, so now we need to get to Leon. So we've got to go to the alleyway. And we can also drop by the Dalmatians on our way, and I bet I didn't get this either. Nope, I didn't. Let's get this again real quick. There we go. Hop. Nope, there we go. All right. Hey, I forget what the yellow ones are called, and I also remember that we didn't go through the um, things. Hey, there's a chest up there that I never noticed. I forget what these things are called. I know the red nocturnes and the green requums and the blue raspides, and then they've got a name too, the yellow ones. I'm about to open up the journal and go through all the journal cr crap. Bleh. What's in here? Another postcard. How many postcards are there? Ten? I should try and get them all. Anyways, let's go to the journal for a minute get through this. You don't need to look at this stuff, because that's just what we've already done. Characters. We got a lot more characters, apparently. Cloud. A fighter hired by Hades to compete in the Coliseum. Despite his association with Hades, his heart remains untouched by the Heartless. Cloud keeps very much to himself, which makes him something of an enigma. What is he seeking? He's from Final Fantasy VII, of course. And that's all in there. Characters 2. A girl who fell down a rabbit hole into Wonderland. She often daydreams and is naturally curious, falsely accused of trying to steal the Queen's heart. She was given an unfair trial and falsely convicted. She fell down the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland. A Queen of Wonderland who lives in a castle with decks and with decks and decks of card soldiers. Selfish and short-tempered, she beheads anyone who crosses her. She thinks Alice tried to steal her heart. She struck terror in our hearts in Alice in Wonderland. That's just the date. Spear-carrying guards who serve the Queen of Hearts. They fear the short-tempered Queen and are careful not to irritate her. Troops with heavy axes who serve the Queen of Hearts. They fear her... Sh their, they... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let me try this again. They fear their short-tempered Queen and are careful not to irritate her. Loyal servant to the Queen of Hearts, he led Sora and his friends to the Queen of Hearts' castle. A mysterious grinning cat who likes to riddle... Who like... Who... Oh my goodness, why can I not talk? 
A mysterious grinning cat who talks in riddles and can appear and disappear at will. He loves to mislead and confuse. A talking doorknob in the door to Wonderland. To enter, you must turn him, and one good turn deserves another, as he would say. Do -do. A legendary hero with godlike strength. He's the son of the gods Zeus and Hera, but not a god himself. The people regard Hercules as a true hero. Philo Katites. Phil, the satyr is a veteran on... Oh my goodness, why am I even trying to read these? I cannot read for some reason. Phil the Satyr is a vet veteran trainer of heroes and Herc's mentor. These days, he's very busy running the Coliseum and choosing competitors suitable for the games. Lord of the Underworld. He's using the Heartless to try to take over the world. To get Hercules and Sora out of the way, he sent Cloud to fight them in the Coliseum. Guardian of the entrance to the Underworld and Hades' loyal servant. Herc defeated him once, but Hades has brought him back to fight Sora and his friends. A young man raised from infancy by gorillas. His gorilla mother is Kala. Tarzan spoke only the language of the apes until he met Jane. Since then, he's learning to speak English at an astonishing rate. A naturalist who's in the jungle with Clayton, her guide, to study gorillas. Her father, or whoever it was in the movie, somehow died. She met Tarzan in the jungle and is gradually teaching him about human ways. She's courageous and will face any danger for her research. A veteran hunter, Jane's guide on her expedition to the jungle. He thinks of animals only as prey. His lust for power and the darkness in his heart attracted the Heartless, and they used him for their own evil purposes. A young female gorilla and Tarzan's close friend. She is protective of the other young gorillas and acts as their leader. Unlike the other gorillas, her curiosity about humans is greater than her fear of them. Boss of the Gorilla Pack. Man, look at that picture of him at the top right. That's great. Boss of the Gorilla Pack. He was against letting Tarzan join the group, but Kala's resolve won him over. Kerchak worries that Tarzan's contact with people will bring danger to the gorilla community. The gorilla who found Tarzan in the jungle, she has always helped and, and defended him, even when he was scorned by the others. Kala is not happy about Tarzan's contact with people, but she knows it's important to him. A leopard. He is a leopard. I thought he was a jaguar. No, he's a leopard. Look at that. I was wrong. A leopard feared by all who live in the jungle, and an enemy of Tarzan and the gorilla. Sabor is a cunning hunter who targets the weak and helpless. He really looks more like a jaguar. I thought the jaguars were like more buffed up looking leopards, and that's what he looks like. Big round heartless, they seem tame and laid back, but go berserk, berserk when they are angered. With their brute strength, they can inflict great damage, so be on your guard. Spellcasting heartless. While hovering about, they fire by they attack by casting fire. Having low HP, they keep their distance from their opponents, making them difficult to attack. They absorb fire attacks. It's a yellow opera, is the one I forgot. Spellcasting heartless, they approach their enemies by bouncing about and attacking with blizzard and absorb blizzard attacks. Spellcasting Heartless, besides attacking with thunder, they hurl themselves against their enemies. They absorb thunder attacks. Heartless resembling a monkey. With great physical strength and agility, they often strike with combination attacks. Avoid close-range battles with them if possible. Heartless resembling a monkey. Unlike Power Wilds, they attack from long range with a slingshot. They scamper about during battle, making them difficult to hit. Yeah, they're really annoying. That's a dark side. Here we go. Trickmaster. Heartless that Sora and company encounter while they search for a for heart for oh my word. It's the third time I've messed up while reading this stuff. Heartless that Sora and company encounter while they search for Alice. It's herky-jerky attacks and juggling act flustered Sora and the others. That sounded weird to me at the end. Stealth Sneak. Heartless that attuned to the darkness in Clayton's heart. It somehow manipulated the light to turn invisible and fought alongside Clayton. Okay, there. Oh, no, wait. We gotta look at the Dalmatians. We've gotten a good amount. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve... About 18? Oh yeah, it says at the bottom right. I was reading the paw prints. We found 18 puppies. And we've got 7 of the blue trinities and 0 of the red trinities. There are apparently a whole lot of blue trinities, but not many red ones. Get out of here. You nocturnes and operas. I don't want you here. Alright, we gotta go over. There's another chest over there that I probably got when I first played through, but not this other time. Green Reek ones. I hate these guys. They heal my opponents. I want them all dead. Is there another... No, I think we got a Reek ones already. Don't, don't do that. Don't be that guy. Okay, he's dead. That's good. I got a Spirit Shard. I really hope I can start... Um, oh my goodness, a lot of big bodies. I really hope I can start um, doing whatever it is soon. Synthesizing. I really hope I can start synthesizing soon. Ow! Dang it, they're like covering each other because they're all bunched up. I need this one to die. Let me just cast some thunder. That didn't help. There, he's dead. This one's already almost dead. 
Get out of here. Okay, he's dead. Ow, there's actually four. I thought there was only three. Okay, let's hurry up and finish this one off. Okay, that one's done. One more to go. These things are so irritating. They give good EXP, though. Please. There we go. Donald leveled up out of it. They give good money drop. There you go. Now we just gotta get through these nocturnes so that we can get over to the, um... Dalmatian's house. Did I get him? Is he dead? Where is he? He's dead. Alright. Do I have any gifts? I've already gotten 18, so that should at least be one gift. Yeah, there's your dogs returning to you. Now, pay up. These dogs don't come cheap. Yes, yes, I brought back a lot of your puppies. Aha! Give it to me. Give it to me. Keep that mud away from my present. It's mine. Kiragaji. It's a stupid gummy piece. What a waste of a gift. Whatever. Hopefully I'll get better stuff soon. Gonna have to keep an eye out for chests with puppies in them. And I do believe this should... Yep, alleyway. Alleyway. Bleh. I need to start remembering to bring drinks with me to these recording sessions, because that would probably help my speech problems a lot. Get out of here. If I could just have a drink every now and then. I haven't had a drink in like an hour, and I've been talking a lot. Where, uh, there it is. I knew there was one more. Stop dancing. Here we go, Red Trinity. Man, that was a great plan. I'm really glad that we unlocked the Red Trinity so that we could just ram into each other and iron bars. So apparently that's one of six Red Trinities. Here's the White Trinity for, um, Traverse Town. We'll be coming back for this eventually. How's it going, Leon? So, you found the keyhole. Yeah. The keyblade locked it automatically. Good. Every world among the stars has a keyhole, and each one leads to the heart of that world. There must be one in this town as well. What do you mean? It was in Ansem's report. The Heartless enter through the keyhole and do something to the world's core. What happens to the world? In the end, it disappears. What? That's why your key is so important. Please lock the keyholes. You're the only one who can. I don't know. Seeing other worlds would probably serve you well. Yeah! We gotta find your friends in King Mickey. I guess you're right. Okay. Hey, Leon. This gummy block's different from the others. Do you know what it's for? I don't think he does. Ask Sid. He should know. Wait, Sora. Take this with you. Earthshine. I don't know what that is. This stone holds some mysterious powers. I've been carrying it for luck. I want you to hold on to it. Oh, it's the summoning stone stuff. How do you use it? He doesn't know. Man, Leon is helpful. Isn't there a, um... I thought there was a save point here. I was gonna save real quick. Is this another postcard? Nope, more Dalmatians. Sweet. Oh, that's right. I never went to Merlin's place, so we can't use this little shortcut to Merlin's house. Crap. So we gotta go back out the peasant's way. So, let's go to Sid's shop and save, and I'm going to stop there. And when we come back, we'll wrap up stuff here in Traverse Town. Enemies? Nope. Gotta run through the Dalmatians, like, five-room house again. Look at them, they're so cute. Maybe I'll get another gift now that I'm at 21. Maybe it gives them, like, every time you hit a multiple of 10, maybe? We might. It's a possibility. I mean, 21 is a pretty good amount. Even though they already gave us one gift. Oh, I'm pretty sure this cutscene means I get another gift. This is like the same one as before. Yep! Those extra three got me another gift. Is it something cool this time? What did I tell you about keeping your mutts away from my new stuff? Keep them- get them out! Kick it away! No, it's a Fyraga G. Ugh. When do I start getting cool stuff, like... 
new magic levels. I know that Arioaga is level 99. I'm pretty sure Kuraga is one of the multiples of Dalmatians, too. Oh, good! I totally wanted to get attacked by one of these guys in a small alleyway. Casting lightning real quick to hopefully kill some of these nocturnes. It did not work, by the way. These nocturnes out of here. Get this big guy out of here. There, now I can actually move. He's dead. Sup! I'm just gonna ignore you guys this time. Don't worry, I'll be back to grind against you later off screen. Why did I do that? Here we go. Let's go toss in these postcards that I got real quick. See what that does. Do, do. Can I get into the synthesis place yet? Nope. Still no synthesis for me. Ugh. Please don't automatically make me talk to Sid. Sweet. So I can save. Alright, I was gonna drop off these postcards real quick. See if they did anything really cool. I doubt it. I only have like three. I bet when you get to like seven to ten, it actually gives you some cool stuff. Sent one postcard, got a cottage. Sent second, got a mithril shard. Sent third, got a mega potion. It's pretty good stuff. Sent him postcard postcards to win something. Blah. Yeah, I need to stop. My speech was decent at the beginning of this recording, and now it's just gotten awful. Alright, so... That's all for now. When we come back, we will finish up here in Traverse Town. And I'll probably have grinded a little more, so my level will be higher. What level am I now? Come on. I don't know why I saved twice. It's a nervous habit of mine is to save multiple times. What's my status at? I am level 17, and I'm only 17... 17 EXP from being 18. Donald is 17 and Goofy is 21. Okay. So yeah, I'll probably be a bit higher level next time. And I should probably mess around with their stuff. Yeah, I probably should. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.